Hey guys, Code with Jay here, and today we're back with a Flask tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to deal with form submissions and how to actually get the variables from them. So, with most of our Flask app, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a main.py, and inside of here, we're going to go ahead and say from Flask import Flask. We're going to go ahead and start by saying app equals Flask, and we're going to pass name with two underscores. And under that, we're going to say if name is equal to main, oh, we're going to say app.run, and we're going to say debug to true. So this is the basics to get the Flask app started. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a folder, call it templates. We're going to inside this folder, make index.html. In here, we're going to go ahead and start with a very basic and non-formal little format for our web page. So we'll put a title here, we'll have a body tag, and here we're just going to say um, test home page. Go ahead and save this inside of our Python code. We're next to import flask, we're going to say render template. We're then going to go ahead and say at app dot root and inside of this we're going to go ahead and put the slash we're going to say def index and we're going to go ahead and say return render template index html now let me just slow down a little bit and explain what this does essentially render template is going to go from our templates folder and render out index html app is our Flask application, and we're basically saying the root that is slash. So in your URL, where we'll have slash web page here. If it's just the slash, or maybe slash home, we can even we can have it be both both by doing this. And so if the user has slash or slash home, it will come back to index.html. To test this, we're going to go ahead and run our application here. Flask has no attribute to it. What does that mean? Oh, I spelled root wrong. We're going to go ahead and start this. We're going to go ahead and control click this link. That should open up whatever your web browser is. And you'll see we have test home page here. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this on the side here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit control C to stop this. If we refresh this, you'll notice the page will no longer respond. And now we're going to start working on the form. So inside of our HTML here, inside of our body, we can go ahead and start with our form tag. Inside of our form tag, we want the method to be post. Now that we have this posted method, what we can basically do is put our input fields here. So we'll have an input field of type text here. And we will go ahead and have another input field of type, let's say email here. Inside of these as well, we want to go ahead and give them a name. And inside of this, we can say, let's say this is username. And inside of this, we can say the name is email. So now with these two forms, we can actually go ahead and start our Flask application, refresh this browser, and you can see we have the two forms here. If you don't like that autofill, essentially, we can go ahead and put autofill autocomplete off. If I go ahead and save this, refresh this, you'll see that the autofill disappears. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go back to our Python and next to this app dot root for home actually we can go and get rid of this since we don't have a home page or it's not really required now. But what we'll end up doing is we'll say that the methods that we need so inside of this root here we're going to say methods and that is going to be square brackets post 
and get. So inside of here, we're now going to say if methods or requests. So go ahead and import requests at request as well. And we're going to go ahead and say if request.method is equal to post, then equals with two equal sign. Then we're going to go ahead and get the data. So we can say email is, or the person with username is going to be equal to requests dot form dot get. And in here, that identifier that we had was username under the name. And we're going to go ahead and say same thing for email equals request dot form dot get email. And just to make sure that we got them, we'll go ahead and say print username and print email. And since it's changed to our Python code, I will go ahead and restart the Flask application. We'll go ahead and refresh this. And there's no way to submit this form as of current. So we're going to go ahead and make a button or an input field to submit it. So in order to do that, what we can do is we can say input that's not a useful input input type submit and save this refresh this page we have a submit button here now and we can go ahead and say username and here we can say email at email dot email and if i go ahead and click submit you'll notice that we get the username and email. That's all for this tutorial. Just a quick way for you guys to maybe get started on your sign-in page or what other, whatever other forms you would need to get data from the user. Thank you again for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you disliked it, dislike it. Or if you have any questions, leave a comment.